section twelve of the history teachers magazine this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org recording by betty b the history teachers magazine volume one number one september nineteen hundred nine section twelve history in the grades armand j gerson editor the type lesson in history whatever may be said as to the evil effects of the present overcrowding of the elementary school curriculum this condition has brought about at least one lasting benefit in that it has led through sheer stress of need to the invention of numerous pedagogic devices for the saving of time as subject after subject has been added to the work required to be covered in the grades stern necessity has developed in the grade teacher a wonderful faculty of classroom economy while it is true that many of the time-saving devices which have thus found their way into our public schools have been unquestionably harmful there are some among them which have proved themselves efficacious and which may be said to have constituted a permanent advance in educational practice among this class we must include the type lesson idea the idea of the type lesson is based upon the principle that since the increasing complexity of the modern elementary curriculum precludes the possibility of teaching with proper thoroughness all the details of the various subjects laid down in our courses of study it behooves the teacher to select a few typical phases of his subject teach these thoroughly and use them as the basis for the rest of the work instead of a superficial survey of the entire field which at best can leave but a hazy resultant in the child's mind let the teacher lead the pupil to evolve a certain number of consistent and intensive type ideas to serve as the nuclei of the year's instruction to express this pedagogic principle in terms of psychology this method will develop in the child's mind certain fundamental concepts to which all later reading and instruction will naturally relate and in the light of which he may interpret all subsequent mental experiences in recent years the type lesson idea has found its chief exponents in the field of geography possibly the overwhelming mass of detail of which elementary geography is composed and the apparent separateness of the facts which constitute its subject matter have led educators to seek for their shortcuts in this subject first be the reason for this activity what it may teachers of geography have evolved an effective type lesson system for the teaching of their subject the geographer has asked why burden the minds of our young pupils with description of all the great rivers of the world of all the great mountain systems of all the great cities why not carefully select one or two typical rivers two or three typical cities in these we can interest the children without any difficulty moreover we can then require and expect a definite amount of definite information to be retained let us teach our pupils to read widely let us cultivate a broad geographical interest and trust to the seeds we have planted so carefully to yield in the course of time a plenteous harvest and the geographer's forecast has not been far amiss why should not the teacher of history apply the same mode of thinking at first glance it is evident that the subject matter of history lends itself most admirably to the type lesson method of development the average grade teacher is frankly dissatisfied with his results in history in spite of his best efforts to string historical facts along the chain of cause and effect in spite of his most carefully prepared topical outlines the teacher of history in the grades is too often obliged at the end of his year's work to acknowledge that his efforts to make the facts of history a real part of the child's mental content had been largely futile let us see to what extent the type lesson might simplify the problem let the teacher of a particular grade make a selection of a series of type lessons which shall constitute the core of the year's work in history ten or a dozen such lesson units can be carefully planned in such a way 
that the rest of the work may be grouped about them these type lessons are to be used throughout as basis for comparisons relations and generalizations in other words they will constitute the framework of the history instruction for the year to take a specific instance the teacher of a certain grade finds by reference to the course of study that his pupils are supposed to cover in more or less detail the period of american history from fourteen ninety two to seventeen sixty three this period falls naturally into three divisions one the period of exploration two the period of colonization three the period of intercolonial wars in teaching the period of exploration the various explorers naturally group themselves according to nationalities one or two type lessons should suffice for each group columbus might be chosen as the typical spanish explorer in that case his explorations should be taught with considerable detail bringing out particularly those phases of his life and work which form the basis for the teaching of other spaniards who took an active part in opening up the new world this type lesson should furnish the pupils with definite notions of spanish life spanish policies spanish motives spanish methods of navigation etc with this basis the subsequent spanish explorations could be gone over very rapidly the matter of results alone being emphasized similarly the teacher might give a type lesson on sir francis drake to form the basis for the english explorations of the sixteenth century marquette might be selected to represent the french missionary activity for the period of colonization one typical colony in each of the three groups could easily be selected virginia pennsylvania and massachusetts at once suggest themselves for the period of the intercolonial wars a typical battle or two might be taught intensively and realistically maps pictures literary descriptions will all help to vivify the picture so that the resulting concept may form a type or pattern for the comprehension of all other battles to which reference may subsequently be made the instance just cited will indicate the way in which the teacher of history in any particular grade may make a choice of topics for type lessons more important however than the choosing of the topics will be the actual planning of the lessons so that they may be type lessons indeed this department of the history teachers magazine will from time to time publish illustrative type lessons in history which it is hoped may be found of practical value while the method is not put forward as something entirely novel nor as by any means a panacea for all the troubles of the history teacher it is our earnest hope that the lessons to be outlined in subsequent issues may contain some suggestions which teachers of history in the grades may find applicable in their daily work end of section twelve